Hello all and welcome back to Butter in the Kitchen. I'm going to share something with you that's one of my favourites. When I make this for um, my wife, she's, oh, this is my favourite. The thing is, she says that with every dish I make her. <laughs> so I never know quite which one is, is her favourite. But this, um, I might have mentioned in a previous video, we went to Venice for our honeymoon and we couldn't get in our usual restaurant. So we went across the canal to this other one it was a, a menu with just about I think it was about five dishes on and this was one of them and it was absolutely delicious I want to look to what it was it was so simple Italian food simple beautiful and delicious it's soul food but before I show you how to do this I want to talk about something that really annoys me I've talked about simple. I'm a mindfulness teacher and I've been practicing and teaching for decades. And what really, <laughs> what really annoys me is the way that mindfulness has been taken out of, um, or rather transformed into a commodity. I read some books on it. Well, I can't read the books on it. I, I open a page or two and it's so complicated. It's like, why make it so complicated? It, see, mindfulness in this sense is similar to food. Some people make mindfulness into an intellectual sort of, t into, into intellectual titillation. Like an intellectual pursuit. Oh, high and mighty minds. Oh, my great mind. Nothing to do with it. It's similar to food. Is food, um, yeah. A banana. Is food an, an intellectual pursuit? Is it? No. You get that? Taste it. That's it. Now that's food. You taste it. You don't, you can talk about it, of course you can. But food is meant to be <clears throat> tasted, to be experienced. Mindfulness is about waking up to this moment. So if you're eating food, it's waking up to that, to the taste of it. It's not an intellectual pursuit. Mindfulness is so simple. It's this. Standing here, being aware of standing here. Tasting the food. But quite often we're doing something else. We're thinking about our the argument with the boss that we haven't had and we never will about our next holiday or regrets about things that never happened in the past. We overthink. A lot of mindfulness teaching just encourages that. Mindfulness is a full stop, full stop. It's here now, food, taste, water, drink, walking up the stairs, you're just walking up the stairs. So simple and beautiful. And it's been it's been transformed into something unrecognizable, and that annoys me. Okay? <laughs> Just thought I'd tell you that. <laughs> so, let's have a look. All you need, garlic. Okay? I've got three cloves of garlic for a bottle this size. It's about eight inches. Okay? So, all you need to do is chop the garlic. Not a lot. Just into... Probably into four, just so it fits in the top. This has been cleaned and everything, of course. Pop it in the top, okay? Do the same with the other two. And just, just right now, just the smell of, ah, oh, it's just divine. You know, food without garlic, you know, what? why would you? I don't, I don't understand it. I don't get it. <laughs> So lovely. Right, there's the garlic. Next, this is aglio di oliva e peperoncino. I'm learning Italian. <laughs> That's the uh, northeast English version of Italian. So in this, I would put three, te three teaspoons. Make sure they go down. Then all we do is get the olive oil. Tip it in. Look at that. Look at the colour of that olive oil. Can you see it? 
a beautiful green. It just happens to be an olive green. Okay, let me run out of that and get a little bit more. Oh yes, beautiful, beautiful. Then just wait till I turn it upside down. It's like one of those um, little things that kids play with, with their little sort of snow globes. Stopper, that's it, done. How simple is that? Now look at that. Look how lovely is that, can you see? Look at that, the color of it. I come in, I come to the kitchen sometimes, I pick it up off there and I just turn it upside down and I'm like, oh, isn't that glorious? <laughs> I love it. So all you need, you leave it for three days, you can take the garlic out after about a week. Okay, but leave the chilies in. You just, I just sieve it through. But what, all you need is spaghetti. Put it in a beautiful bowl. I'll get, I got these from Italy. Beautiful bowl. A bowl of spaghetti. Sprinkle that on. Parmesan cheese. Absolutely heaven. Now, have this dish. It takes, what, the pasta's longer. It takes, what, 10 minutes to make the pasta, to boil the pasta? And al dente, yeah? So you have the, the sort of earthiness of the garlic, that sort of garlic. There's only, only garlic can taste like garlic, okay? Just, you have the, 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 the burn of the chili. And then you have the, the sort of, you know, the substance of the, um, the spaghetti, and then you have that softness, the, the, the cheesy blendness of the, um, the smoothiness of the um, cheese, the parmesan. Put lots of parmesan on. I like to put more in than what the recipe says. So, you know, and, and cook the pasta with, put salt in the pasta. Italians always do that. Put the salt in the pasta. Don't mess, don't mess about. Put it in. Be bold. In your cooking, be bold. Okay. So have this, and don't write back to me and say you didn't like it, because I'll ignore you. You can write back to me, make a comment about how beautiful it is, how delightful it is, how everybody liked it. But if you write back and say you didn't like it, I'll just delete it, okay? It's not true. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Thanks.